Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can. And they continue with Arcanum of Steamworks and Magic and Magic Obscura Blind. Uh, last time I survived the crash of a Zeppelin, and now apparently I've been declared a reincarnation of an ancient elven god, and I'm trying to find out what's that about. So let's leave the place of the crash. Hmm. Again, I'm kind of unsure. Sir, you might wish to consult your map. I believe there might be a quicker way to Shrouded Hills. Hmm. Okay, so I guess there is like a quick uh, travel option. Begin a world map. Okay. Uh, Arbalach's house. Ah, Arbala is supposedly the priest that killed one of the bandits and trapped his spirit. Uh, in in the mortal realm so let's visit him and see what that's what was that about uh, toggle waiting you know, toggle walking okay uh, yeah i'm going to do that before i go to shouted hills because presumably the game will want me to go back to to the spirit after i'm done with this quest anyway so there are some graves here uh, this headstone is as exquisitely carved with the message uh, Jamaya, beloved wife and mother. Uh, this headstone is exquisitely carved with the message Saif, beloved son. Okay. Because I, I don't want to outright kill the guy, but I want to learn more about what happened between him and the other guy. Hmm. This is locked. I don't have any skill in lock picking, do I? Mm. Mm. How do I even pick locks skills? Ah, okay. Mm. Pickpocket, disarm trap. Mm, okay, those are schematics, but what what if I wanted to uh, pick the lock? So it doesn't seem like maybe I can break it down. Yeah, nothing nothing is happening, so I don't quite understand that. But maybe if I walk around the house, I'll find some other way or. Hmm. Ah. Wait, it's a non-opening window. Maybe I can break it? That is awfully rude, but still. I don't have much of a choice. Jammed. Hmm. They are all called non-opening windows, which... <laughs> If you ask me, it's probably a clue <laughs> as to if I can use them to enter the building. And the answer is probably no. Uh, actually, let's consult my journal mm, on that. Mm. I found a plaque of one on one of the flying machines that bore the legend Maxim Machinery Caladon. That's about one of the uh, aeroplanes that attacked the Zeppelin. Uh, Strange shrine at the crash crash site had this carved into it. Uh, okay, so it seems. Ah, okay, it's here. Uh, accepted. The cursed spirit of Charles Brego has implored me to kill the priest who cursed him, Arbala. It is it is his belief that if I kill Arbala, he will be released from the curse. Um, okay, but how do I? enter this building. Do I need to have a particular com companion who knows how to open locks? Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of lost here, to be honest. 
it should be here, shouldn't it? Among those skills. Lock picking. But it isn't. So what gives? And those are all quote unquote non opening windows. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I'll leave that be for now. Uh, maybe in Shrouded Hills, I've, I'll find some companion or like a lock. Maybe I actually need a lockpick, like an item to, to pick the lock. Mm, let's go back to. Uh, I believe you have to click here and then uh, Shrouded Hills, a small mining town. Okay, let's go. Helder Joachim is staying at the inn next to the bank. Mm, okay, okay, but I want to explore all of the village. So, let me start from one of the edges or something. Uh, like from over here well you know what I might as well start from the town center it doesn't really matter it's just that I have to remember in which buildings I was and uh, uh, do, I, do they have names human guard human guard so those are just generic okay I'm kind of annoyed by them moving around I guess it's supposed to be immersive and stuff, but still. First bank of shrouded hills. Ah, I guess the doors are locked for the night, right? Uh, that actually makes perfect sense, and it might have been the case with the house as well. Although I think that was daylight when I was at uh, Arbalach's house. So let me wait mm, for the morning. Uh, what time is it? Uh, it's midnight. So... Okay. Uh, let's visit the bank and talk to the bank teller just to... Hello to the bank of Shrouded Hills. How can I help you today? I was just passing through. Thank you. Good day. Okay, so I guess nothing to be accomplished here as of now. Uh, Shrouded Hills Inn. Uh, that's where Elder Joachim is supposed to be, but um, let me explore the rest of the town first. Uh, just, uh, just so that I don't uh, accidentally advance the, the main plot too far. Uh, Jungle's Enchantment. Mm, halfling wizard. Your very present disgusts me, dwarf. Is it because I'm so ugly? Mm, the, the the reaction is minus fifteen hatred. Uh, that's quite rude, sir. Perhaps we could we could ask we could act more civilly. Oh, hmm. uh, his re reaction improved slightly. The halfling before you regards you coolly. Then a slight smile. I see you're a man of reason. Perhaps I spoke too quickly. I'm glad you think so. And who might you be? I'm Jungle Dune, learned wizard and alchemist. If you have a problem in shrouded hills of a magical nature, I'm the person to see. You've caught me at a bad time, friend. Perhaps we could speak later. It's a pleasure to meet you. Might be I might I be of assistance? Well, perhaps I've got a problem here in Shrouded Hills of a most delicate nature, strictly confidential, uh, if you get my meaning. Mm, of course, may, uh, might I ask a few questions about it? Uh, certainly. Uh, what's the nature of your problem, Mr. Dune? Mm, well, he leans toward you, looking around secretively. There's a conspiracy here in Shrouded Hills. A dark plan for a full of mystery and intrigue. Interesting, and what exactly seems to be going on? Mm, the whole town is out to get rid of me. 
they've been brainwashed by those by that constable Owens, and now it's only a matter of time before I'm forced to leave. I see. What has Constable Owens done to you? What has he done to me? The man has endangered the natural balance which allows me to put my bread on the table. Do you have any idea what the presence of his bloody steam engine does to my magical abilities? Uh, no. What are you talking about? That blasted technological gadgetry. It upsets the flows by which I perform my miracles of magic and alchemy. Magic and technology are very different. Magic works against the, against the laws of nature, while technology, technology is very dependent on them. So, that machine makes, makes it difficult to cast spells and do my experiments. Business is bad. Oh, that's actually quite interesting. So it seems that the forces of technology and magic are directly antagonistic? towards each other, and it seems that the very presence of technology upsets magical energies, which is interesting, because it, it seems you can nullify magic by surrounding yourself with technology, and presumably vice versa? Mm, that's a shame, especially in such a big city like Shrouded Hills. Is it supposed to be irony? Because I'm pretty sure this is a very small village. <laughs> the sarcasm is lost on him. Yes, if only there was something, there was someone to do something about it. He throws a hooded glance your way. What exactly are you proposing? If you could find a way to disable this infernal machine, I might be able to part with a couple of healing potions. Uh, to be honest, I'm not about to do that. I don't think, like, first of all, I don't think that's legal. And second of all, I don't think that's right, because, like, it could be said, if it works the, wor the way I think it does, it could be said the other way around, right? That he and his magic uh, hampers the technology, uh, so it's a, it's a no-win situation, really, kind of. It's a more, qu more of a question of who do the, the citizens depend on more. Mm, sorry, Mr. Dune. I'll stay on the good side of the law. Well, the choice is yours. Perhaps some other time. Perhaps. But... Mm, uh, <laughs> have, have I not made my dislike for dwarves quite clear? That's quite rude. A man of reason. Okay, have a moment. Because, because I've been asking about... I wanted to ask about other things. You're an alchemist, what does that mean? Mm. An alchemist is an individual who studies properties of objects and tests how they react with one another. It's not really magic and not really science, but has characteristics of both. Somewhat of a jack of all trades, master of none. Do you follow? Clearly. May I ask you a few more questions? Uh, okay, I think that's all, because I'm not about to, to, to agree to his plan, at least not without some more information. Is there anything more this way? Mm, human villager... Hmm. It seems to be just a regular home. I'm not going to rob it, at least not without good reason. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I've reached the outskirts. Oh, actually not quite. And there is some kind of a mine or something. Interesting. I'll probably go and and uh, visit that. Human villager. Half orc guard. <laughs> okay, let's talk with one of those, with one of those uh, regular people. What is it, you ignorant dwarf? I would thank you to address me with some respect, sir. <laughs> he cringes. Oh, please excuse me, sir. I surely meant no offense. What was it that I m might do for you? Might I ask your name? I am Percival Toon. Why do you ask? Why are you so, n so nervous? Uh, 
he visibly deflates. I thought you were here to kill me. The businessman that I was forced to sell the mine to is rather unscrupulous. He's very upset about the ore in the mine going sour. He wrings his hands in despair. I need to find a way to free my mother. Mm, it's her ghost that is ruining the ore somehow. He looks at you with a pleading gaze. Your mother's ghost? He shakes his head sadly. My poor mother, she killed herself, you know. When the, when, the, when the silver dried up, we were forced to sell the mine. She went around the bend soon after. Went up to the mine she did, fired all the workers and did herself in. Perhaps I can help free your mother's ghost. That would be wonderful. If you could do that, I would be ever so grateful. It would mean a monetary reward of 500 coins as well. I will return when I have looked into this matter. Okay, but can you tell me something more? Not really. Half Ogre Guard. Mina wanna talk to you. Okay. Uh, so actually, let me go into the mine right away. Hopefully, I'm strong enough to actually survive that. Because it's pretty close. Mm, and it would be prudent to uh, go there right away instead of backtracking later. At least, that's how I feel about it. Mm, but... I should probably save before I do that. Uh, passage. Okay, let's go. Mm, lantern. Might be useful in those dark spaces. Some wolves. Mm, iron ore. I'm going to pick pick up the iron because I can use it for my blacksmithing. Uh, congratulations, you are now level three. You have one character point to spend. Okay, so let's go here. Now, what would I like to upgrade now? Dexterity first, and uh, Charisma first. Hm. Why do I have lowered beauty still? Not, not that it matters, the difference between 1 and 2 is probably negligible. Uh, hmm. What do I want to upgrade? You know what? I think... Hmm, I wonder how far do I need to go? with Charisma to get three followers, because that would help me upgrade my Persuasion as well. Mm. But I think I'm going to go into Dexterity for now, just a little bit, at least for one more point into melee maybe, because I'm missing quite a lot. Uh, how much do I need? Uh, it should tell me here. Why isn't it this... Uh, 12. Okay, I'll put one point into into dexterity for now because I'm missing quite a lot. And how about Virgil? What is it that you want of me? Mm, questions. What can I answer for you? Tell me about yourself. Uh, he should probably invest in some spells. Mm, so it's here. Oh, there are a lot of spells: uh, clairvoyance, divination, earth, water. I would like to invest in more healing. Nature, Charm Beast, Necromantic Black, contain, contains the spells that ne negatively affect the life force of a creature, Necromantic White. Willpower first. Mm, mm, major healing, yeah right. So I think I would like him to spec into this first, because that's, I imagine that's his, his role uh, mainly anyway. Uh, mm, iron ore. I've got a lantern already, so I'm not going to take another one. Mm, is this the ghost? Poisoned. But 
unfortunately it didn't last long. Uh, okay, let's try talking with the ghost. Uh, Bessie too. Before you stand an ethereal figure with a ghastly look in her eyes. Sarah, my dear Sarah. Mm -hmm. Is she looking for like her daughter or something? Uh, this looks like an old worn woman's boot. Inside the embroidered tag it, li it reads Tomb. So I guess this is her shoe? From the moment where she killed herself. But I can't really interact with with the ghost, like I, I can't talk with it. So I guess I have to search for something else uh, before I will be able to convince her to you know, uh, leave or something. and gold. Mm. Okay, I still have some inventory space left. He's got beaten pretty badly there. I wonder how how do I help him? Like, if is there so is there a way to use a potion on him uh, instead of on me? Okay, I I almost died myself. <laughs> this really isn't. Uh, you know, isn't boding well for my future. Um, I'll drink one of those. How do I even... How does the shortcut bar work? Like, I'm clicking one, which is what I would ordinarily click, and I'm also left, left clicking at it, and nothing is happening. Which... I'm not going to lie, it's kind of confusing. Okay, I don't want to attack him. Wait, did I... Hmm. Okay, I drank one, but I'm not even sure how I did that. Hmm. Okay, kind of confusing. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> I've been seriously hurt, sir. Please help me. Well, apparently, so ends the tale of the living one. He didn't leave that long, really. Uh, that's embarrassing. Mm. Oh, and the cursor has disappeared, which is also weird and kind of annoying. Uh, okay, I'll redo that part. Okay, I'm back to where I was, more or less, and I've also discovered a quick save a hotkey, so that should make further deaths uh, a, little, a little less annoying. Okay, judging from that, it's pretty apparent that I, that I cannot uh, effectively uh, kill an adult wolf for now, so let me go this way maybe. Hmm. 
or spiders, including a large one. Okay, is Virgil going to survive the poison? Because I don't want to quick save and then have him die, because that would be kind of ridiculous. Uh, is there anything here? And dynamite. This old sprocket looks ancient. There is an imprint mostly rubbed off. Only five letters you can read say Groth. Hmm. Okay, I'm not quite sure what's that about, but it must be relevant somehow. Mm. There is still the chest. Mm. Perhaps I should give him some potions. What is it that you want of me? What can I answer for? Ah, no, that's not what I wanted to click. What is it that you want of uh, me? Shall we trade? And I'll give him like one of those, and the potion to restore fatigue as well, because he he uses it as mana basically. Ugh, I've been seriously hurt, sir. Please help me. Mm, cannot you help yourself? What is it that you want of me? Hmm. Is he not going to do anything? Uh. With the items I gave him, like I've literally gave him. Uh, I've been seriously hurt, sir. Please help me. Potion of healing, and I would like him to use it. So I'm not quite sure. Why doesn't he? Uh, maybe I can. I need to put it in his like. Mm, uh. Okay, this is ridiculous. So let me reload again. Hmm. But I would definitely like to figure this out because it seems pretty important to, to learn how to give uh, how to give uh, weapon I mean, items to to the NPCs to your companions in such a way that they can use them because. Hmm. Okay, I can't even clearly see in the spider. Okay, I should survive this now, because I have more hit points than he has, but still, I should probably figure out... What is it that you want of me? How does this work? Hmm. He doesn't seem to have like a quick use menu or something, so... I don't quite understand. Uh, Hmm. Okay, actually it seems I'm not going to survive this either, which makes the fact that, that I think I saved kind of kind of uh, unfortunate. Yeah, that's some pretty strong poison right there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to die. Like, I don't have enough of of healing items to stop that. Uh. Okay, I guess I somehow survived. So let's let's save. Oh, hmm. I guess I didn't level up. I put a point into dexterity last time here, and uh, with him. What is it that you want of me? 
I hmm. with him what can I answer for you I put a point into willpower to get access to more spells later on hmm. hold poison for example would be pretty useful here hmm. anyway the only thing I have left to explore in this uh, mine in particular is the room with the wolf but I can't seem to effectively kill it with my current uh, you know I guess I might try throwing the dynamite at, at it or, some, or something how do I even Item is wrong for this type of... So where do I put it? It is a weapon, right? Clearly. So... Where do I put it if I wanted to... Wait, did I... Am I holding it or...? Oh. on the ground but at least I killed the wolf so eh, let's let's treat it as a learning experience so I guess I didn't throw it I left it freak I left it on the ground and it exploded but still I managed to kill the wolf through other means and it has killed me a couple of times before so let's take what I can get um, Minura coin uh, heal, po heal poison uh, gold, unidentified mace. Mm. Okay, but I still haven't found unidentified dagger. Still haven't found anything. Well, I found a shoe uh, that had uh, Toon's name on it, but th th the ghost still doesn't want to talk to me and I would rather you know exercise it or something you know convince it to leave rather than attacking it because I don't think attacking it mm, is is fair because I, I, I imagine the ghost isn't like malevolent it's just tormented or something Bessie tune before you stands an ethereal figure what does my journal say about it Mm. Percival Toon wants you to find a way to free the ghost of his mother. Yeah, so even even the quest log itself is kind of alluding to the fact that I don't have to uh, kill to to destroy the ghost. There should be. She's looking for Sarah. So maybe if I go back to the guy and ask about who Sarah is, I can learn something more about the family tragedy and learn about a way to, you know, to help the ghost instead of attacking it. spoke with your mother's ghost and you did what did she say she said Sarah my dear Sarah who is Sarah he looks disgusted Sarah he spits the name Sarah that is my sister a hateful person really she deserted us left here to go to the dilapidated kingdom Dernholm. Dernholm. what an affront to our family uh, why did she do that who can say? She was always irritable and unkind to me. It broke my mother's heart when she left. Perhaps if we, I could go and speak with her. Why? Why would you do that? She can be no help. She can be of no help. Of that I can assure you. It would be unwise. I mean, there is nothing that, uh, that she can tell you that would help. 
It can't hurt though, and I do need something to go on. Uh, no, I I don't rightly right know if she is still living in Dernholm. Actually, now that I think about it, I believe she no longer lives there. I suppose you'll have to find your answers elsewhere. Sorry I mentioned it, I will be going now. Hmm. Okay, so I, I guess I'll have to just look around for her, because, again, I don't want to attack the ghost. I would like to find a way to resolve this matter peacefully. Mm. And it seems that to do that, I will need to find the sister. So let me explore the rest of the village. I wonder why why sc scrolling the map is so uh, so uh, unsmooth. Like it's 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 very jittery and kind of annoying. A gnome shopkeeper. I hate dwarves. Hmm. What sort of sort of wares do you carry here? Mm, take yourself a look around, sir. I got good prices for a lot of common stuff. A little of everything, you might say. Let me know if I can help you any. Uh, let us trade. Mm, indeed, that's a lot of stuff. Mm, fuel. Uh, how much for the armor? Oh, it's quite expensive. Mm. Mm. Okay, what can I sell? Uh, broken flintlock pistol, I guess. But he doesn't want that. Uh, doesn't want that. I can sell the bullets because I probably am not going to use a ranged weaponry like ever. Uh, sapphire for a hundred coins, sure. Uh, I'll keep the salt pepper as an ingredient. Mm. I'll keep the lantern as well. I would like to identify the maces before deciding uh, to sell them. I guess I'm not going to buy anything yet. Uh, however, Slim Pickens. What is it? What is this guy's name? I despise you and your vapid kin, you mawkish dwarf. That's kind of rude, but I guess they are talking to me like that because I'm very, very, very ugly. Uh, uh, mm. I guess describing the ring is not going to help, uh, I mean to hurt, uh, because I need to find a gnome, uh, but I don't know, you know, the exact place or... To be honest, I don't even know the name, because I know the name of the guy that died, but I don't know the name of his son. Uh, can you tell me about this ring I found? Describe the ring. A uh, very exquisite ring, my friend. Hold on to it. I am in your debt, thank you. Mm. Okay, so that's clearly not him, because he didn't explicitly recognize it. Mm, there is a blacksmith here. Let's talk to him. I hate dwarves. Excuse me, good sir? Is that any man f any way for men to of reason to speak? He seems to reconsider his words. Please forgive the outburst. Sometimes my mouth gets ahead of my brain. It's already forgotten, and who might you be? Greetings, I'm Lord Gerlois. Lloyd Gerlois, the local blacksmith. How can I help you? A pleasure. May I ask you a few questions? 
Um, what services do you provide? Uh, let us barter, actually. Maybe you have... A fine healed and guard. Yeah, right, because this is an ingredient for the sword, right? Uh, the, the... what's the name? Like the featherweight sword or something? Balanced sword? It's, it's an item that I can make. Mm. Can go away, you slack-jawed dwarf ape. Okay, so that's, that's pretty weird how they always revert to their original hatred of me. Is there a problem? Can we be more reason reasonable? Okay. Have a moment. How has business been lately? Business? Oh, I suppose it's never outstanding here in Shrouded Hills. We're a small town and simple folk. But to be honest, I have had troubles getting my hand on any good ore for smithing. It's hard to bring up anything out of the old Bessie Toon. What's the old Bessie Toon? Bessie Toon is an old silver mine, just north and a little west of town. There hasn't been silver there for some time, but it still brings up some I iron ore every once in a while. Worthless, though, as long as Bessie is wandering her mine. Who's Bessie? I know that already, but still. Well, I could tell you who she was, but I'm not good at spinning yarns. If you really want to know about old Bessie, you should talk to her son, Percival. He lives up there near the mine. I see. What type of ore do you need, Lloyd? I'm so in, so in, in dire need of some pure ore. I will not make a blade without it. If you could so find some, I might be obliged to make you a dagger or whatever it took out of whatever is left. Uh, sounds like a good trade, I'll do it. Mm. Okay, so... It just so happens... Uh, wh where is the... It just so happens that I have... Uh, uh, a skill that let, lets me s smelt a pure ore. Yeah, right, out of the iron ore. So, how do I combine that? Uh, successfully combined the items into a new item. Okay, so I have two pieces of pure ore now. Mm, which might be enough. And also, I might be able to make the balanced sword. Uh, how do I change? Wait, do, do I have the second skill? In the chain? I do. Pure aura plus fine hilt and guard. Yeah, I do have that. So how do I switch it to another schematic. Hmm. Yeah, but I would like to... Ah, right, okay, balance sword. Uh, pure ore. Uh, taking the full advantage of the metallurgical properties of pure ore, the Sword of Balance offers deadly speed and increased accuracy in battle, as well as the comfort of finely made hilt. You're guaranteed to walk off the battlefield while your uh, opponents stand in awe of your weaponry, nursing their wounds or lamenting their dis disfigurement. Mm. Okay. How much damage? Oh yes, it is. It is significantly better. Three, three to twelve compared to two to nine. And I can speak with him again. Uh, could you spare a few moments? Uh, I've brought you back. Or here we go. Uh, that's grand. I really appreciate it. Come back here in a little while. I'll have your dagger. I'll do that. But. Uh, I would like to sell this to to him because I no longer need it for now. Mm. 
Now, do I want something else? Nah, I think I'll I'll keep my gold for now. You never know, no, when you might need it. Hello, Lloyd. I've come to retrieve my dagger. Still making it. Okay. Let's go further. That is already quite a big upgrade on my weapon, though, so I'm happy with that. Uh, Rita's imported goods. You dwarves are the worst lot. Sir, we've just met and already such harsh words. Uh, Rhys is, 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 is a good man, but something about you get, gets under Rhys's skin. Be gone with you. Uh, please, let's try to work this out. Eh, perhaps. You're still rather revolting. Although, maybe in a way, you just can't help. Uh, okay, I to be honest, I don't like this this uh, this dialogue line at all. Uh, although maybe it's intended to be sarcasm, uh, in which case, okay, because I don't want to antagonize him and I don't want to leave. I want to talk with him, so I guess I'm stuck with this. I'm trying my very hardest to impress you. Oh, all right, you've you've won me over. Perhaps you are tolerable. I'm very glad. May I ask you who you are? Oh, okay, that's annoying. Uh, annoying me again, spi spineless dwarf? Whatever is the matter. Uh, okay, let's try and work this out. Blah, 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 impress you. Thank you. May I ask you a few questions? Mm. Yeah, I have a few questions. Where are you from? Is uh, Reese, is Reese, Reese is from nowhere and everywhere. A nomad scouring the land for, for such objects mm, as have never been seen by the eyes. And forget I asked. What can you tell me about Shrouded Hills? Shrouded Hills? Ha! <laughs> a small town, too small for the fabulous Risi. We're not in a. Were it not for a temporary financial setback, I'd leave right away. If you want to know more about this little boring place, Ask the local constable. I see. Some more things? Mm, what sort of objects do you buy and sell? Um, Reese says mel sells many things, all different and all unusual. Reese is an expert in things both magical and technological. Reese can tell you. Mm, what is the difference between magic and technology? Magic and technology are two sides of the same coin, yes? One of them twists nature, that being magic, and the other one uses it. Because of this, they don't well work too well around one another. One of them always seems to break the other, no? Risi has different shelves for both. Yeah, that's definitely kind of interesting. I look f forward to this concept being explored more. Uh, I had some questions about technology. Technology? Risi knows more, knows much about this. Gears and pistons and wheels and pulleys. The woven things of old. The sciences of men. Machines of nature and its forces. Amazing contraptions to dazzle. Okay, okay. Can you make these things? Uh, yes, I'm no expert in the sciences, but all it takes is much study in one of the technological disciplines to become proficient in their ways. But stay away from mages and all things magical. Mm, why do I need to stay away from magical things? Ah, okay, he just repeats it, uh, he himself here. Mm, uh, I'd like to talk about magical things. Magical, you know, some stuffy mage casts spells or something and makes it magical. After that, it does strange things to people. Or it makes trees turn blue or you grow another arm. You know, magical. I see. And how does one become a stuffy mage? Become a mage? Why would you want to do that? Risi would think you probably just need to chant spells all day or draw a rune in the dirt with a stick and stay away from technological things. 
any anything else I'd like to know? Uh, anything else I'd need to know to become a mage? Not that I want to, I just want to explore all the questions. Mm, Reese has known many mages in his time, and never was there one who wasn't too smart for his own good. Always reading books or telling Reese of his amazing intellect. If a mage is anything, I suppose it would be, it would be smart. And more questions? I would like to talk business. Uh, have you anything you want to buy or sell? Mm, okay, to be honest, I don't really want to sell, uh, to, to buy anything he has, I'm just looking around. Perhaps I should be selling some stuff, but I would like to first identify those maces, but to do, do that, presumably I need to find a mage. Mm, actually, uh, no desire to speak to you, whatever. Uh, let's try to work this out, trying hardest to impress you, blah blah blah, thank you. Uh, what can you tell me about this ring? Mm, interesting, a finely made piece of jewelry. What exactly do you want from Risi? Uh, do you know who the initials GB belong to? GB? Not one that I know. Plus, it's impossible that someone in Shrouded Hills would, would own such a high-quality piece of jewelry. More likely, they'd ma they, they would melt it down and use it for nails. Oh, the thought. How Risi has languished here, my friend. Uh, would anyone else in the town know who it might belong to? Uh, wait a minute, perhaps Risi has some questions for you? Uh, like, where does someone like yourself come across such a piece as this? I guess there's no point in denying, like, even if he wants to take it away from me, he will need to fight me for it. So, there's, I see no reason to lie about the origin sorry, of it. So, it was given to me by a victim in a blimp crash. Blimp crash? What blimp crash? Has no one had the decency to tell Risi when tragedy strikes? Are you all right? Were there any other survivors? Uh, no, it seems I'm the only lucky soul. I see. Well, Risi is always one to help those in need. Take this small donation. Risi is a businessman, but he has a heart as well. Tell me, were there any objects there that seemed unclaimed? Uh, I think most of most of what is in there will be sent to the relatives, well, apart from the parts that I've already took myself. Of course, of course, I'm only asking for the sake of the poor deceased. Risi would never think to rive through the objects of the dead. Now, if someone else would bring the things to Risi, uh, I'd rather not speak of such things. Of course. I'd like to ask you about the imprint of P. Shiler and Sons. A very important piece of this puzzle, eh, my friend? Rhys has been very free with his information. What have you to offer, Rhysi? Uh, you've been nothing but helpful and very knowledgeable. Let's, f uh, let's uh, flatter him a little. Ah, yes, flattery will get you everywhere with Risi, but Risi is not so easily thwarted, my silver-tongued friend. Now, about what Risi might need in return. Uh, what are favors between friends? About P. Shilers and Sons? Let's not mix business and pleasure, my friend. Let's keep to the task at hand. What I'm going to need from you in exchange for information... Uh, well, what do you need? Reese is, is a collector of strange and wonderful things. Perhaps there are a few objects you could add to Reese's collection. What things are you looking for, exactly? Mm, two things, actually. If you were able to locate a camera, the technological wonder, or something of Bessie Tunes, Reese may be, might be able to tell you about P. Shiler and Sons and where you might find them. Uh, sounds fair, 
Oh, I already have both because I have the camera from the crash side and I have uh, mm, and I have Bessie Toon's shoe, right, from the mine. Uh, so, fortunately I have both. Excellent, my friend. And which of them would you like to trade for the information about P. Shiler and Sons? Mm, okay, I'll give him the boot because it seems to... Although, actually, I'll give him the camera because the boot might be tied to the quest. The camera, I think. Here you go. Uh, wonderful. Reese shall tell you what you want to know then. P. Shiler and Sons is a well-respected jeweler in Tarant, a strange family, but always do good business. And here, Reese shall mark Tarant on your map as well. The address in the city is 44 Devonshire Way. Good luck, my friend. Thank you. Good day to you. Okay, you know what? I'll take a look at my logbook. Mm. Uh, accepted, get information from P. Shiler and Sons about the owner of the strange ring. Uh, okay, nothing new here. Here, The living one is meant to be the reincarnation of an elf named Nasrudin, a powerful elf wizard. I was attacked by a strange man at the crash, crash site. He was very curious as to what I was doing there and assaulted me after a few questions. I am afraid there is something very odd going on here. Percival Toon let it slip that, that his sister is living in Dernholm. Reese the imposter, no, the importer, told me that P. Shiler and Sons is located at 44 Devonshire Way in the city of Tarant and marked my map accordi or accordingly. Okay, and with that, I feel like this episode has been long enough, so I'm going to save here and actually end it here. That's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!